We turn now to our Kantian synthesis. Our good friend, Immanuel Kant, offered us an epistemological theory that is actually a combination of empiricism and rationalism to some extent. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's do an exercise. I want you to have a pen and paper, and I'm going to show you three pictures. And I want you to look at the picture, and I want you to write down what you, what you see. Okay, it's going to be like one or two words. Don't think about it. Just what you see, one or two words. Ready? Okay. What do you see? All right, next. What do you see? And finally, what do you see? Okay, let's go back. I didn't give you very long because you weren't supposed to have very long. All right, did you see a duck or a rabbit? All right, they're both here. Okay, consider this part. That's either the ears of the rabbit, where this would be the mouth, or it's the bill of the duck. Okay, well, if you're gonna look at the duck, you shouldn't have a mouth on the other side of the head. That's a creepy duck. All right, so it's either a duck or a rabbit. Maybe you've seen both, maybe you've seen that before. All right, how about this one? Do you see Albert Einstein or do you see Marilyn Monroe? What I've learned about this one, this picture, is that if you're looking at a big version of it, it's going to look like Albert Einstein. But if you're looking at a small version of it, it's going to look, at, look like Marilyn Monroe. Um, let's see on the, you might see Marilyn Monroe more in the thumbnail versus the bigger version. Okay. Um, all right. And finally, how about here? Do you see faces or a vase? The black looks like two faces looking at each other. The white looks like a vase. What we learn from these pictures, and what my suspicion is you already knew, because you've probably seen some of these, is that what we quote unquote see is a matter of perception. And what we see is not always what we know to be there. Consider this final picture. Here we have a beaker with some liquid in it. How many straws are in this beaker of liquid? Well, it looks like there are two of them, right? It looks like there's one straw submerged in the liquid and another one floating on top. But experience tells us that's not the case. Experience tells us that there is only one straw and refraction of light through the liquid causes the straw to look bent or broken or just like two straws. We've looked at rationalism and we've looked at empiricism as ways to understand the world, to know the world. Our empiricist, Locke Hume, wanted to say, look, what you see is what you get. But the rationalists were right in the sense that what we see is not always what we get. What I see are two straws, but that's not in fact what I'm gonna get. And so understanding this, Immanuel Kant comes up with an alternative theory of epistemology.